You know, he said there's a lot of them out here. Station, we're just pumping gas. It's out of nowhere. And he's wanting us. This flap of skin down here is called a dewlap. Dewlap. Don't try this at home. This year we're going to be going on some amazing adventures, so thanks for tagging along. Like, comment, hit the red subscribe button, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hi there, I'm Florida Jit. Iguana Man and Iguana Ninja are the best in the world at catching iguanas. If you don't believe me, like, comment, and subscribe. Your eyes won't believe this. Some gas, and then all of a sudden we notice, like, some iguanas just kind of hanging out here. There it is. Oh, his tail. I'm gonna pull his tail off. No, no, it's okay. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Got to work uh, doing detailing on nice vehicles, and. Uh, you know, he said there's a lot of them out here. Station, we're just pumping gas. It's out of nowhere. And he's wanting us. Look at that one. This flap of skin down here is called a dewlap. Dewlap. Don't try this at home. I shouldn't be doing this. He's not calling me yet. The dewlap sheds too. I guess one of these bushes right here, there's just an iguana that comes out of iguanas, guys. They live in these bushes and then when the sun comes out, they just come out as well. Calm down. There it is. Wow, he's standing his ground and pulling away. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa. Dude, this thing is like it's done this before. Wow. Is that a turtle? You guys see it. Whoa, look at all these fish. There it is. There you go right there, buddy. Carry after you pack it. Kind of turned like a little yellow right there. Water 
too, you can see the bottom. Fall, buddy. That's a good picture. There it is. You have a second. So if there's those grunt fish out here, there's got to be some big ones. That's the tarpon, dude. Look at that thing. Wow. Get the light on. A lot of fish. Dude, tarpon are usually like six or seven. They stay in the shallow area and then they, when they get bigger, they can run out. So these keys are activated. You got another tarpon? See that thing, dude? Kind of scary looking, huh? That's, that one's a little bit bigger. Oh, he's about to try to eat that fish. Oh, yo! Oh, oh, oh look, he's chasing it. Oh, hold on, hold on, buddy. Don't worry, Oh, dude. dude, he just ate that fish. Dude, I can't believe he just did that. He's not even afraid. Why would he be afraid of a little fish that he wants to eat? No, he's uh, saying that we're here. What is that? Just came across the top of the water. Dude. It's amazing, right? You can see it right there. See it right there? Those little, these little, like these little like peas or seeds or berries that it's eating. A lot of wildlife out here. The marine life is incredible. But right now we got an iguana right here. Oh, oh shoot. Oh. Alright, we got it. Oh, dude. Baby. Yeah, small one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many people you think that one could feed? This? Yeah. and then the, the outer skin comes off. So now you can eat this skin if you want because we yeah. took all the... Oh, you get... Yeah, see it right there? Yeah. Oh, man. You eat a bit. You can skip it. You need to just double check. Way back home in Trinidad, we cook it most of the time with the skin on. So you know, we just blanch it in some hot water just to take off the scales. So right now, I'm just going back through to make sure there isn't any scales on it. I 
people came from, you know, different countries, um, through indentured leadership. We had Indian influence from India, and then we have the influence from Africa due to, you know, the indentures. So I guess the Guana and living off the land was typical for them during that time, you know, um, catching and eating, subsistence living, if you want to call it that. And I think it just passed down to generations. Well, it's in part of, you know, a lot of different cultures and, you know, it's reflected in the food. A lot of people, you know, um, hunt and eat. Um, not so much in Trinidad, but it's a delicacy now, you know. Caramelized, curry. You can't cut it up small, man. Yeah, it's all big, so it can dry you. That's right. Yeah, so we're just rolling it out here now, Fred. Then cut it up. And into the pot it goes. You know, typically dumplings are not thin. You want to leave some, you know, thickness to the flour when you're rolling it up. Take roughly about an hour yeah. ish. But all right, so we're gonna add the coconut water now. Coconut um, milk, sorry. Whoa. Simmer down and cook it. Mm -hmm. I don't add the salt here. Back home, they normally make baked dumplings, we call it cattle tongue. The flour and the dumpling is that you don't add like baking powder. So if you notice, the flour doesn't raise or anything. It's just, you know, water, salt, flour. And you knead it up and you, you get dumpling. Wow. Now add the dumplings here, not right? Yeah. I'm going through two pieces already. them to run out though yeah guys we got about 10 iguanas in the net we got iguana slayer right there <laughs> playing snake eyes with the iguanas they're all right there Oh yeah, it's right there. <laughs> nice one, dude. How many did we get? Let's have the big net over here, Kyle, right? We have to, bro, it's way too, huh? 